John Numbers and Jen. Jen taking it over to Buzz's Sora. John Numbers finally getting a crucial win over Zomba. And now they're going to be facing off. And I think lately, Numbers has had the set record between them. I could be wrong about that. But um, that is correct. I just got information from Devin. Yes. Okay, so. <gasps> oh, wow. You're dead, kid. <laughs> Throw in the towel. I don't care if you're getting combo to 27. I don't care if you get combo to 90. You've already lost this game, bud. That was just... Wow. <laughs> when have you ever seen numbers do that? Excuse me? What, what, I mean, was, it, was, it, was it the Zomba win going to his head? I think so. I mean... <laughs> That was incredible. I mean, so it does actually belie one of the really important parts of this matchup, which is that Wee Fit's crouch puts her under so many of Palutena's neutral mm -hmm. options. Her dash attack, her dash grab, I believe, doesn't hit on Wee Fit. It might be dependent on the... Terror! Oh my oh, god! As guarded! Oh my god! You fell for the oldest trick in the book, trying to edge guard John Numbers! God, this is so crazy. We're only at 122%. And John numbers. And look at the numbers of John, to be oh. exact. Okay. Oh, never mind. I would. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's kind of the uh, that's the risk. I like the idea of planking there. He managed to get about 45%. You know, oh, wh where are you going? No, not again. I asked you not again, and you refused me. What is happening right now? Numbers is playing out of his goddamn mind. And you know, being two stocks up against Jen, like we're lit we're 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 in winner semis right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and to do that to give us a whole a whole load of oh. This is such a good way to start out this set right now. Oh yeah. And you know, just already going back to like previous, you know, sets, it's usually more of like, you know, Jen who's consistently keeping numbers at ledge, not letting numbers have any fun, and to just completely shift the momentum. It's literally oh wow. Oh, he's going deep for that, trying to find an actual I've got he needs the kill. He doesn't find it. All right. Yeah, that's a two stock for uh, for numbers here. That that that. Oh wow. I've I've never been less speechless before. I the amount of things that happened in that game. Wow. Oh. <laughs> the numbers, John. <laughs> literally, literally. It doesn't even oh matter at this point God. because, like, yeah. um, the way this this is already going, it's looking like it's it's just literally Tole and Vivi who I don't know, like I don't know. It's, it's it's starting to go a little bit downhill right now, and you know John is feeling himself, feeling a little saucy. Um, John is John is ready to win. It's looking like, I, but yeah. I mean, not with that 51%. You're not ready to win. 61, gonna get hit by that freaking nice explosive oh. flame, and on. There's 79% yeah. grind. You know, Jen doesn't want any of it. Jen is like, mm, you tried it. No. Yeah, no, Jen, he's not the kind of guy who gets phased. Even if you brutalize him game one, he's going to go into game two with a fresh mindset. And that's what we're seeing right now. John, despite how dominant, and I mean dominant, that game one was, he's currently fighting from behind here. Already taken about 117% uh, trapped at the ledge. This could be it for him if he's not careful. That's absolutely what can happen. And with that deep breathing active, it looked like it could have been such a bad moment. Oh, but if you're Jen, this is also really scary. As soon as deep breathing's online, you are now dead to f -tilt. That doesn't look like f -tilt. That did not look like I mean, hey, listen, he was shielding, and he outplayed the shield. Oh, but that was very nice, you know, use of Nair right there to get the back air on the redwall. And it's looking like Jen is, um, you know, had none of it, wanted none of it, and got none of it. So period. Yeah. Still no deep breathing for John. And that could actually be uh, quite scary for him. I mean, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, he got deep breathing. Well, In the blast zone. And then put to the face, period. Did you, did you, did you do your um, techniques yet? Did you, um, you know... 
had you, a nice. Do, do you do your sky yoga? Yep. Where you uh, you do like the the downward dog, six hundred feet in the air. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. You have to be sure. You have to be on top of everything right now because it's looking like. You know, John wants to explode that first game, but it's looking a little like less than right now because right now we're at the ledge and getting less shot, but that app's not is not gonna hit and now where where, where are we going with this? I don't know. Well, Numbers is in the driver's seat. That's where we're going. Deep breathing online. This could be a huge advantage. All Numbers needs is that one hit. That's the first hit. Can he keep it going? No one, it looks like deep breathing is about to expire. That's still actually managing to even things up here. What was that DI? Sheesh, buddy. <gasps> oh. He's dead. Wow. He directionally air dodged. I thought that was going to be a counter, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that was, and Jen, that's such a pivotal stock loss for Jen. He's now looking at having to stare down numbers with this stock lead, and we already know what numbers is like with a stock lead. He's merciless. See, now, I've kind of talked a little bit to Jen about, like, you know, the idea that, like, sometimes he plays a little bit too, you know, aggressive without really thinking about, like, how the actual... You know, pace of the match is kind of going. In like situations like this, this is kind of one of those situations where you know, as aggressive as you want to be, you still have to be very, very certain about how you're actually placing that aggression. You know, it's not going to work out in a lot of situations where John is like, you know, still keeping his normal John self, and you're kind of just trying to force <gasps> something he has like the that. Jump. He held down. That was so smart. Getting the two frame, making sure to get a little bit of advantage, uh, sorry, damage and maintain advantage. Although, this is actually scary if your numbers. You're off stage right now. There's a lot of rage on Palutena. I don't know. This could be super bad right now. Again, the aggressive options from numbers. These attempted edge guards are just blowing up in Jen's face. But he's alive, and if he's alive, he has a shot. Numbers at 85 now. If he's off stage, this is actually quite scary. Down air, back air at the ledge. That'll do it if it connects, but can he actually find its mark? Oh, this is this is getting so scary. You better not the eye that wrong. And even if you did the eye that right, you're still gonna get a freaking back air to the face. What? No. Was that, was that the DI or bad DI? I don't know what happened right there. It felt like he DI'd in for the down throw and out for the back air. I don't know. That DI was, so was a little weird, but you know what? Oh, you know what? The fact he had deep breathing. If he didn't have deep breathing, he wouldn't have gotten reduced knockback. Oh, okay. Because that he takes less damage when he's in deep breathing. And can we get an angle on... Oh, okay. That's also worth noting there. That hit him. <laughs> and also, yeah, holding outwards. That was exactly where... Uh, that was the exact reason he was going to die. Okay, so if your numbers, you worked so hard in that game one. And game two, you had the lead. You had your shot. And I don't want to say you blew it, but... Definitely, I would not fault you for, you know, kicking yourself right now. I don't know. It's kind of looking like that. And, oh, see, now this is kind of what I like a little bit more. Only because <laughs> he knew. He knew. <laughs> what, what happened to the first game? Do you remember? Because, um, this, I this game right now? No. No. Uh, game one was a fiction. <laughs> it did not exist. I don't know. Oh boy. Who said, oh, that's such a. Game one was just only a chapter in this event of like, you know, stories that yeah. we have going on here. Somebody called Goosebumps? I don't it know. It was that. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the setup, and we had the plot twist. And this game three is one heck of a plot twist because oh. Jen is absolutely dominating right now. And notice the way he's keeping the pace slow, recognizing that if he just makes. Sure, he trades, just plays it patient. There's a clear path to victory for him. Honestly, and ooh, that up air was looking so scary. And Jen is trying to go out. Oh my god. This is looking so scary right now because, wow, how, how are you going to deal with this pressure when it's just like Jen is is doing what he needs to do, slowing down the pace at specific times so that he can just, ooh, that kill? Um, I don't know about that one, but that first of all, he got hit by the soccer ball mm -hmm. into a miss tag, mm -hmm. into a I don't know what that di was on the back end. It was di, just who said and it then, was. 
the most that we could say about it is that it was no way. That was an amazing up Did you see it? He angled to not go to the ledge. Did not want to get spiked by numbers again. And also, look at the stock counts. This is kind of an even game. I mean, yes, there's a lot With more percentage. deep breathing on hand, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's certainly looking like it's an even game right now. Oh! oh so in! Oh, my God. This is definitely looking like Jen has it in the bag right now. Trying to tear down whatever semblance of an advantage John thought he had. Any any small sort of, you know, lead that John thought he could get, it was not being given in that moment. Taken away. Oh my god. We are at even percents, but that's a complete stock lead for Jen. And Numbers is just, it feels like he's falling victim to these ledge traps. Every single thing that Jen is doing, finally a bit of a reversal. If he can take this stock early, quickly, he can keep himself alive in it. But look at this. Jen is not falling victim to anything that could let him drop a stock early. No, he is confident, yet he's careful, calculated, and perfect right now. Oh, Jen was actually reaching right there. Trying to get that kill, not gonna get it, but we are in an edge guarding situation and Jen knows exactly how he wants to kill numbers right now. He's waiting for that <laughs> moment and that bear is going. Game. Okay, <laughs> it was game. That was the uh, salty controller disconnect. And if you're numbers, I can understand why. You had just beaten Samba, one of your demons, and you go up against Jen, a player you normally have a winning record against, and you were ahead by so much in that game too also. And then game three happens like that. I, I can understand why you would disconnect your controller before you even hit the blast zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Lama>. <laughs> Yeah, he's not even, he, he, he was gone. The controller, no blue controller in sight on that screen. Mm -mm. No, see, so kind of hears. Ooh. Okay, wait. That's what did it. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. But, but aside from Jen absolutely obliterating numbers, what I really wanted to mention. Can we get a quick question? Can we get a look at game one? Because the first stock in game one, I felt like it's too far back. Dang it. Um, but I think it was something kind of similar, but numbers turned it around. I think he either, it was too low for him to die to the down air, or he air dodged uh, out of the deep breathing. Um, and that was how he ended up getting the reversal. Uh, so kind of the fact that game three would shake out like that. Wow. That was, it was, it was, it was, it was giving. I'm going to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no.